Does any Telecaster bridge fit your Telecaster? The answer to that is no, and I didn't know that. I'm building my version of the Andy Summers Telecaster, and when I put all the parts together just to see if everything was lining up, something was wrong. When I lined up the string through holes with the bridge, the scale length was much too long. I didn't know why that was. Were the string through holes just drilled too far back, or was it just the wrong bridge? As you can see, the strings are on now, and it intonates very nicely. So what was the problem and how did I fix it? It actually has something to do with fly fishing, believe it or not. Pretty crazy, let me explain. The Andy Summers guitar was a highly modified 61 Telecaster originally born with a vintage ashtray bridge. The body I'm using from Guitar Anatomy has pre-drilled string through holes that are made to accommodate that same vintage style bridge. But doesn't these string through holes fit a modern style Tele bridge also? Turns out no. Check this out. This is a blueprint of a vintage style bridge from Wilkinson I got from Guitar Anatomy's website. The other bridge is my ABM brass bridge. The red dots are the string through holes. Let's place a blue line where the string leaves the saddle. And now let's see what happens when I put the ABM bridge on top of the vintage Wilkinson. Check that out, that really explains a lot. The saddles of the modern bridge are 10 to 12 millimeters further back when I'm lining the bridge up with the string through holes. But does that apply to all modern bridges? Let's do a few more tests. How about a Goto modern bridge? Same thing. How about a Wilkinson modern bridge? Again, same thing. And now for safety, let's just try another ashtray bridge, but this time from Stumax website. Yeah, and they are the same. I don't know why I couldn't find that information anywhere, but now I know, and now you do too. The string through holes placement has to match the type of bridge you want to use. Unless you want to do what I did. My idea was to make the string curve through the body, so instead of going straight through, it would curve to where the string through hole of the bridge was located. But of course it didn't work out as I intended at first. Oh man, I'm pretty depressed right now. Did I just mess up this whole build? So what happened was I marked where the string through holes should be. And then I got to work with the file. look very professional but if it works so that didn't work at all so I thought okay I need some kind of tubes so I googled around to find out where can I get tubes. turns out when fly fishing people use tubes like this I hope that maybe that could be my solution as you can see right here I actually put the tube in there at first that looked very promising and it's already on the other side so the tube thing works or does it oh man there's a problem because of this part it has to go into the tube as well oh man really the tube thing can work pretty nicely i just have to make sure that it's wide enough to make this uh, end of the string go in there. I can get a tube that actually is a little bigger inside. Let's go to the hunting shop. I bought tubes like these and now I actually think I have the right solution and I'm going to show you right now. Three millimeter tubes and you can bend them. They have a two millimeter hole in there. They are perfect to do this with. So as you can see, I made one. I had to check it all out before I turn on the camera just to make sure that this actually works. So let me just demonstrate the tube and it works. Now I'm just going to show you how I did it and I'm going to do it with the other five holes. You 
have to make sure that it's bending gradually. If it's bending too suddenly, the string will just try to go into the plastic rather than follow the curve. That's not good. Okay, so that's it. The string through holes are done. So now I'm ready to put on the strings and that's always a big, big thing. When you put on the strings for the first time, I feel that's super exciting. So let's do that. Okay, so now the big thing. Let's see if I can get the strings through there. The strings are on. That's not a small thing. So, uh, let me just give it a quick setup and see if I can uh, make it all work. And if I can, I'll get back to you. So now it's time to put in the string trees. The string trees are in place and it looks pretty good. So that's it, the strings are on. And that's always such a big thing. And I even intonated it and it intonates very nicely. So that's pretty amazing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shield the guitar and then I'm ready for wiring. And I'm so much looking forward to that. I even got this Gibson, the classic 57 I'm putting in there. So if you want to see the wiring, check out the video right here. If it's not out, it'll be out very soon. So just subscribe, hit the little bell icon. You get notified when it's out. I'll see you in the next.